And that was our libation for today. Books. So I can get it right out the way now. People complaining about me not giving books. The Wall of Light by Nikola Tesla. Wall of Light. The, yeah, by Nikola Tesla. T-E-S-L-A. Uh -huh. <laughs> Esoteric Occult School by Madame Helena Blavatsky. These are all devils that tapped into the frequency. The Handbook of Unusual Energies by Ledbetter. The Secret of Regeneration by Hilton Hotima. The Hidden Way Across the Threshold by James C. Street. The Hidden Way Across the Threshold by James C. Street. The Relationship of Parapsychology to Gravity by J.G. Gallimore, G-A-L-L-I-M-O-R-E, J.G. Gallimore. The Phenomena of Materialism. This is an old book. By a man called Baron von Nutzing. N-U-T-Z-I-N-G. N-U-T-Z-I-N-G. The name of the book is The Phenomena of Materialism. The astro-biochemical system of bodybuilding by Inez Eudora Perry. The astro-biochemical system of bodybuilding by Inez Eudora Perry. The Devil's Pulpit by Robert C. Taylor. Glimpses of Masonic History by C.W. Ledbetter. The Key to the Universe by Harriet and Homer Curtis. And lastly, this will take about two or three years to read, Anacalypsis by Godfrey Higgins. That's about an 1120-page book, two volumes. All right, beloved. Like brother asked, I hope you all ain't had any pork juice sandwiches. I hope y'all didn't stop by Mickey D. I hope y'all didn't eat heavily before we came together because I need all of your brain cells working today. We are going to get into realms and levels so subtle about why it is God dies. Now why did I say why God dies? Because who is God? Then if we are God, then why do we die? There is no such thing as death in God. Then why do we go through this progressive degeneration and decrepitation? What happened to us some 75 to 145,000 years ago that created this unnatural habit of dying? 
Mm. We're going to also talk about the misconceptions and lies of holistic health and alternative healing. Now, I don't want all of the brothers and sisters who are practicing holistic health and alternative healing to bum rush me now. Because what I'm about to do is to stick a pin into the conceptual and perceptual balloon of holistic healing and health. A lot of people are not going to like me after this, especially those who are about doing this as a business. I did it as a business, and that's why I had to do it this way, because if you do not continue to grow in whatever you're doing, then you just got a job. I hate jobs. This just over broke bullshit is not for me. Check. I couldn't work for anybody. Because most of the times, after about a month of being in a J-O-B, I found out that my boss or those right above me had the IQ of a turnip, which was why they're the ones in charge. And I couldn't deal with it. So I taught my son never to work for anybody. And he has never worked for anybody. And the one time he did go to school for all of a month, I took him out. And I believe in that. I believe that somehow if we just stopped working and sat down, we could change the world. Because the deal is, the way he controls is by getting us to participate through our fear, which is what we're going to go into. The great AIDS hoax, Lord knows. I'll be going back into some very old material that I was doing back since 1985 when it wasn't very popular to say that AIDS was a hoax. But I, I ain't into popularity, so everybody here I know because they are here, they ain't into popularity either. Nine times out of ten, you all have become the disturbance in the immediate influence that you are around, namely family. They all think you're fucking crazy any damn way. So I don't understand why they have this word insane, because if you are in sanity, I don't understand what's the deal. Anything outside of sanity is the one I'm worried about. So I don't mind being insane or being in sanity, because that's exactly what we're going to have to be we're going to have to reason this situation. We can't go on belief anymore. Belief is a sickness. That's a virus that eats away at your critical thinking. So the great AIDS hoax will be exposed here today. And I hope you come at me with all the critical shit you got. Because nine times out of ten, all the motherfuckers coming in here talking shit about AIDS don't know they asshole from their elbow because all they're doing is parroting what that beast told them. Ninety-eight percent of the population don't read. And if they do read, they read that dumb shit when they're going to work by some white woman having problems with some other rich white man. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> Polluting their mind with all kind of dumb shit. Like I'm worried on the, daylight, the daytime shows whether he gets fucked or she gets fucked or whether that baby belongs. Who gives a fuck? The Great AIDS hoax has been a mind war. It just manifested as what we see as the casualties, but it's been a mind war. They eroded your understanding that you are God. That's the only way.